protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, if you're into big foreign wars, arming our enemies to fight against us, arming our enemies to fight against each other, then Hillary Clinton is your candidate for president. Warmongers are coming out in mass. I'm joined in studio by the lovely Leanne McAdoo to talk about this. Leanne, these neocons, neocons like Paul Wolfowitz, he was featured in the LA Times. He was the chief architect of the Iraq war under Bush. And he said, hey, look, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. He was the top official in the George W. Bush administration. He was referred to as the architect of this war. He showed Bush how to depose and take down Saddam Hussein and destabilize their country. And oh, guess what? He's a Hillary supporter. I was shocked a bit when I read this. Uh, he's just one of many neocons that are saying, you know what? We love foreign wars. We love destabilizing. And oh, yeah, by the way. I'm with her. I'm with her. Yeah. Exactly. And this is, of course, Wolfowitz is probably one of those uh, GOP leaders that she's not going to brag about coming mm -hmm. over to her side because this uh, her decision, her vote to take us into war with Iraq is something that's been dogging her throughout this entire election cycle. She wants to just bury that. She doesn't want people to understand that it was her hard choices that are leading now to these mass graves that we're seeing in Iraq and other countries, the total destabilization of the Middle East and, of course, this massive refugee crisis. And now she and our community leader, President Obama, are painting themselves as the saviors for these mm -hmm. refugees when they're the ones that made them homeless in the first place. Right. Well, Obama first took credit for ending the war in Iraq. All he really did was pull out and further, you know, add to their dissension into hell, if you will. You mentioned those mass graves, 15,072 graves in total. They were actually stacking the bodies up. They'd killed so many people. This is reminiscent of Clinton's administration. I'm referring to Bill Clinton. When we heard his secretary of state, then Madeleine Albright, say, you know what, 500,000 Iraqi children have been killed because of our policies, but we think it's worth it. That was right. her exact phrase. We think that, you know, the price that we're paying with all the blood on our hands, you know what, it's a small price to pay for what we're getting in return. Right. And it's not shocking at all that these warmongers, specifically the Republicans, hey, guess what, there's no difference between the Dems and the R's in cases like this. And uh, he's just one of many national security and foreign policy officials that are in her pocket. Right. I mean, it's so surprising. And of course, now the FBI has just announced that they've found 30 more emails, uh, <laughs> Benghazi emails. They're going to talk about those uh, Wednesday, they say. But of course, this is right before WikiLeaks was about to release what they say is the most damaging emails yet, that they have 1,700 emails proving that Hillary Clinton knew about U.S. military weapons shipments to Al Qaeda and ISIS. You remember uh, Rand Paul really pressed her on this issue and she played it off to Turkey. Well, I've never, no one has <laughs> raised that issue with me. And she's the secretary of state. Not only did she know about those weapons being shipped, she's helping to facilitate it and hey, make a donation to my foundation and I'll get you in here a lickety split to sell you some weapons. <laughs> isn't that, isn't she just a sweetheart? So he, you mentioned Rand Paul and I love that because it brings up a discussion that he had uh, recently where he said in Syria, look, we've armed two groups that are actually using U.S. weapons and they're fighting each other. That's what's happening, that we don't even know whom we're arming, that uh, Syrian militias, they've been armed by different parts of the U.S. war machine and that they're fighting each other in Aleppo, that it's we've descended into hell so down that we don't even know, uh, you know, basically who we've equipped and what they're doing with it. And this is all under Hillary Clinton, right. by the way, all under her watch. These are decisions that she makes as Secretary of State. She hands them over to Obama. He puts a check on them, and they go out. You mentioned Benghazi. What difference does it make? I can promise everybody watching this, you think Benghazi was bad? You just wait, honestly. I mean, we, we're looking at her record. Right. What Imagine what, what, she, what they can't recover because she wiped it with mm -hmm. leech bit. <laughs> you know, which was uh, because everyone uses something like that when they just want to get rid of their yoga routine. And right. You know. you know, I mean, honestly, you made that great point. So she yesterday or a couple of days ago, she came out and she said, what, with a washcloth? You know, yeah, with a cloth. Right. Yeah. So they they do not know who they're arming, nor do they know who they're bringing into this country. But destabilization is the name of the game with your Hillary Clinton candidacy. Well, if you are a warmonger or a neocon, she is your candidate.
We have the new product at InfoWarsLife.com, BioTrue Selenium. We've had so many requests over the years for selenium, and just recently, we were able to source a certified organic bioavailable selenium from mustard seed extract. When you take selenium in the body, it actually benefits the detoxification systems in your body. It helps balance the thyroid gland. It helps detoxify. Selenium is another one of those absolute must-haves. The highest concentration of selenium is in the thyroid gland, but it's actually used all over the body. As a matter of fact, there's 25 genes in the body that are directly dependent upon selenium. So it really is a all-around nutrient that everybody really needs. I'm taking it now every day. This is so key. BioTrue Selenium is the product, the best selenium that we could bring you. We believe it's the best out there at a very, very low price. Exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Now we are introducing a new t-shirt, which I think folks need to get, uh, telling the real truth about Bill Clinton, who is a serial rapist and a user of women. In another case, it's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. Bill rapes them physically, and then Hillary rapes them psychologically. He's a rapist. Absolutely. He's a public figure. He can go straight to hell. Get your Bill Clinton rape shirt today at InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-800-253-3139.